Clark in the extra, and it's time for our top performer. The top performers here at East L. Harding High School for a long time have been the softball players. They have won 12 of the last 15 state titles. The other three years, they were in the finals. But another top performer this week is quarterback J.P. Shelley of the football team. Threw 10 touchdown passes in a season opening win, and since then has been very productive, as has his team. So let's take a look at this week's top performer, J.P. Shelley of East L. Harding. J.P. Shelley of Ezel Harding is currently engaged in piloting the Eagle Air Attack to an incredible 3,665 yards and 17 starts. I think he's involved. He's probably one of the best kept secrets at the quarterback position in the state of Tennessee. We have a very strong pass attack and a strong running attack, too. We have evolved our offense over the last couple of years uh, due to the uh, strengths and weaknesses of our players. Uh, we are very fortunate. We have some skill athletes that catch the ball very well. And we were very fortunate with JP coming up two years ago that uh, we were going to evolve to a no huddle, uh, fast break attack. And I knew that it would take a quarterback that not only was a good athlete uh, that threw the ball very well, but could also make good decisions on the line of scrimmage. And though it may be fun to watch the fun and gun, the logistics of making it successful are extremely difficult to perfect. Uh, there's many times that uh, I'll give him a formation and uh, nothing else, and he will, in a 25-second time span, when the referee blows the, uh, the whistle, will have to uh, check the right play against the right defensive front, against the right defensive secondary, and then he has to find the best mismatch. And J.P.'s done an excellent job of that over the last couple of years. And after throwing for nearly 4,000 yards and 41 touchdowns, you would think that college coaches would be breaking down the door. I, I think it's unfortunate that just because he's uh, six foot tall, a lot of schools pass on him. I think that's a question that a lot of people would ask me, am I too small? I think, um, I think I'm not the size that, that people are looking for. And I think at some point, some school will make him a scholarship offer, and they're going to get one of the best deals at quarterback that they could. Not only is he a top gun on the field, but an outstanding academic achiever. In general, he's a very down-to-earth, good kid. Uh, the kind of kid you want your son to grow up to be. And it's been, I've been very fortunate to coach him these last few years, and we're going to miss him when he's gone. 